Okay, here's the RL circuit part two. Um, now, um, this time what we're going to do is we're going to have um, a current that we're going to let a current build up when we, we're going to switch this to this side. So it's going to be connected to here. And um, we're going to um, let a current build up. Now, at first, this is going to resist the flow of current. It's going to be a battery pointing that way. And it's going to try to stop the current from changing it. But in the end, the battery is going to push current through this, and you're going to set up some steady state current. The steady state current is going to be actually um, E over R, and um, using Ohm's law, because eventually this will have no voltage across it. And so um, if this is E, like 6 volts or something, then according to Kirchhoff's loop rule, if that has no voltage, then this has to have the 6 volts. And so the current in here would be the 6 volts over the resistance. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what, what we're going to do is once it gets um, to a steady state, we're now going to quickly, very quickly, switch the switch this way. And you might think that the battery would be out of the circuit so the current would stop. There's no more. This is, this is no longer there. It's just connected to this. But what will happen is as the current starts to die out, this is going to try and stop that from happening by pushing this, the current like this. And you're going to get a current that goes around like this. You're going to get current that goes around like that. And I'd like you, you to see um, how you derive the equation for how I changes with time. As you might guess, um, it's going to try and push the current around the circuit. But there'll be a point where it just is going to um, run out of energy and the current will be zero. In fact, it's going to be a decay graph. It's going to look like this. And if it looks like that, then we might expect um, a decay function that some looks something like this. I should equal some initial current, I naught, we'll say, times E to the negative some constant times T. And as you might guess, it's probably the same constant as the other one. If you remember how RC circuits worked, it was the same constant. And it's probably rolling logs tumble. I know that's a, that's kind of a silly thing, but it's a nice way to remember what the constant is, rolling logs tumble. I, by the way, I did not invent that. Somebody told me about that. But it, it works for me. Okay, let me show you then how that works. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to just do a Kirchhoff's loop rule around here. I'm going to say that the voltage drop across here has to um, equal the voltage drop across there. They have to add up to zero. And so if I start here and I go around, I'm going to gain some volts because I'm going with the battery. And then I'm, gonna, I'm going with the current, so I'll lose some volts. And so let's take a look at that. So I'm going to say that... Um, now the current is dying out, so I'm going to say that the EMF of the inductor is going to be L di dt. Now um, that's a negative, that's a, this is going to be negative because the current is dying out. So I'm going to put a negative here to, to make it so that it's pointing in the right direction for me. So the current is dying out and so this is going to be, the, this is negative and that negative will give me a positive voltage. Minus I times R. That's going to equal zero. Okay. So um, I'm going to bring the I on the the IR on the other side. This is just Kirchhoff's loop rule. Bring in that um, IR on the other side. I'm going to get the following. And now let me um, get my... Com co combine my terms together, get my I together with my with my um, DI. And so I'll bring the I underneath here. So I have negative L DI over I. And on this side, it's going to be R T, DT. Hey, I might as well just bring that L on the other side. So I'm going to have, um, and the negative. So I'm going to say that DI over I is equal to um, negative R over L DT. Okay, to get the, the what I'm after is a, an equation that it has just I is equal to something. And so 
Um, to get the, the DI and the DT out of there, I'm going to integrate both sides. And I'll start at T equals 0, and I'll go to some other time T. And I'll start at um, I, has some current in it, and to some, um, this will be I initial, and then this will be some other I. So this will be I initial, and then some other I. Okay, moving right along. This is a much easier integral to do because I don't have to integrate by substitution. Um, as you probably are starting to get the hang of this, this is going to go to the natural log of I. And so the natural log of I, absolute value of, it, and I'll put in my, my parameters there. Uh, no, this is I naught, rather. So that's I naught and I. That equals, when I take the integral on this side, that's just going to be, it's going to go to negative R over L times T. <coughs> well, when I put in these, this just turns into, uh, when I put in the T and the zero, this is just going to turn into, I'm going to put this on this side, negative R over L times T. On this side, however, that's going to go to um, the natural log of um, I over I naught. Let's call that I naught, capital I naught, I suppose. Let's raise um, E to this, since these are equal to each other, E to um, raise to this power should equal the same as E raised to this power, raised to this. And so these are inverses of one another, so you're going to get um, just I over I naught. And on this side, you're going to have E to the rolling logs tumble. Okay, I'll bring the I naught on the other side. And so I is equal to I naught E to the um, negative R over L times T. Okay, if I were to graph this then, it's going to graph like this. That's a decay graph. It's decaying like that. Now, how long is it going to take to get to zero current? Well, according to this graph, it's going to take forever. So, as you might guess, we are not going to um, talk, ask you questions about how long will it take to get to, to zero current. What instead is we're going to talk about the time constant of this, kind of like we did with RC circuits. This also has a time constant, and, it's, and so we'll talk about that in the next video. All right, uh, I'll see you then. Bye.